Hi guys, myself Pankhi Gandhi Suresh Yossi and the problem on lead code. Spiral matrix. So given a M cross M matrix, return all the elements of the matrix in spiral order. So M cross M means it's not a square matrix, of course. M is different, N is different. So it can be any matrix of any size. And we have to return the all elements in the spiral manner. So you could see, given this example, Spiral means, as we know, it starts from very first, then all the top things, 1, 2, 3 is travels, then bottom, then again to right or uh, left, then up, but one is already travels, so this is not required. I'll just, okay, something kind of a circle, right? It comes here and stays here. So it's a matrix of 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6, then Move here, down, left, done. So if it is of one row, just move from left to right. So this is how the spiral matrix it moves in a circular order. So if you observe the pattern, what it happens actually here is it starts from top. Uh, let's name this as top. So this is top. Okay, and here it is bottom. And this is left, this is right. So basically, top is pointing to 0, 0th row, bottom is pointing to, this is what, m minus 1, the last row. And then left is pointing to 0th column, and right is pointing to last column, that is n minus 1. So if you carefully observe what's the pattern happening over here is so we start from top first row we move from left to right so for loop from left to right we move of the first row so first row means we will have a list okay so we'll have a list in that list dot add list as uh, we'll have a result uh, list name as result. So result dot add of what it is. So it will be top of that is the first row of i because top is constant here and uh, i varies left to right column varies. This is one form. So after the top row is done, next we move to the column, last column. So for that also, how? So once you are done this top row, you can increment the top row now. The top will be pointing to here. So we are give top plus plus. Fine. So next will be the last column. So for, for the last column, right will be constant. From top to bottom we traverse because 3 is already traverse here. So this result will be 1, 2, 3. 3 is already traverse. Next we have 6 and 9 only remain. So top is incremented because first row is done. So we have come to the next row. 6 to 9 we have to traverse. How? From top to bottom. Here result dot add off. <laughs> I. We have I. Because top to bottom, rows are changing. Column is same. That is right. So now, last column is travel. So we can in decrement the right. So right will move here. So right minus minus. Okay. So just erase all this. So next two loops we have to write. So that I like here. Okay. Now again, once you travel till six comma nine, the answer for this for this it is one two three. Here it is six comma nine. So we have one comma two comma three, six comma nine. So next it should be eight seven right because one two three six nine eight seven. So we have decremented right from right to left. We have to travel. So for Right to left. 
from this travel from light to dark. Then what is called a constant? Bottom is constant, right? So result dot add of bottom is constant. So bottom is written, then I column is changed. So once you are done this, now this last row also done. So you have to decrement the bottom this time. So bottom will be decremented here. So bottom minus minus. Next again 4 comma 5 we have to traverse. So for traversing 4 comma 5, any one of them is uh, column here, uh, that is common here. So bottom is common basically. And then we have to traverse from left to right. So again, but for traversing from uh, left to right, actually we have to traverse only four because we moved here, then here, then here, then this should be traverse. Right? So here four is left. So follow from bottom to top, bottom to top. It is so if it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it would be one, two, three, six, seven, nine, six, nine, twelve, ten, eleven. Then these two should be traversed. Then it comes to four comma five, five to eight, done. So what we have to look here? 7 to 4. So bottom to top. In this case, top will point here, bottom will point here. So bottom to top we are traversing. And what is constant? Left is constant. So result dot add of bottom to top. So that will be I and left is constant. So now after this, bottom will be decremented again. And here it should be actually, we move from left to right, bottom will be decremented. And now here, since we have traversed the uh, first column, left will be incremented. So left minus plus plus we have to. So whichever is constant, bottom left, here left is constant, so left will be incremented, bottom is constant, bottom incremented. Top is constant, incremented. Right is constant, decremented. So depending on your position, increment and decrement will do. And whichever is constant, will do that. So you could see we have reached till 4 now. And left was incremented. Left is incremented over here. Now at last we have to traverse this again. That is the same thing. Next. So that will be fine. Left to right, here on it is pointing. The top is pointing here, top of i will be 5. So at last, answer will be written 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 8, 7, 4, 5. Basically, the array is something like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So traverse till here, then down, back, up, front, like this. So it will stop over here. So, but one thing which we need to notice is, what if the array contains only one, one, two, three? Then we have to travel from here to here, right? So the for, for the first step, left to right, it is okay. And then we will have top pointing here, bottom also pointing here, right? And left is pointing here, and the right is pointing here. So left to right, you traverse. You add it 1 to 3 will be added to the list, then top will be incremented. So top will move here now out of the matrix. Next, if you check for bottom to uh, top to bottom, we have to traverse now. So since starting is top and this is bottom and we are incrementing, so that condition will not happen. But when you come here, right to left, right to left, we have incremented top, so this condition won't happen. Here, this condition will happen, this condition won't happen, but right minus minus will happen. So, right minus minus means right to point here. And here, right to left, right to left is still present. We have right to left to move. We, have, we are adding after 1, 2, 3, we are still adding 2, 1 again if we run this loop. 
he shouldn't happen. So for that, we have got to, we have to check here, he, top lesson I equal to bottom. So, if you check top lesson I equal to bottom, what is not. So that time this loop will not happen. Similarly for here also. So, as I said, in this case, or in this case, in this case, if we look here, once you reach here, you should not move to top. Next, up here again. So for that here also, you have to check if left is less than or equal to right. And for the entire loop also, you have to check both conditions. If left is less than right and top is less than or equal to bottom. This is next. So this is the only solution present for this. So it's basically you have to look at how we solve the problem. So see if you see first you move from top row, then the right column, bottom row, then left column. So decrement each constant each time and until left less than equal to right, you have to do this. So we shall put this. So we'll have a list of type integer. Name it as result equal to no array list. So next, uh, we have to calculate matrix, right? So in m equal to matrix dot length, and to find length of any one of the columns, in n equal to matrix of zero, we will take dot length. So next, what we need to do, we have pointers. In top is pointing to zero, and bottom is pointing to last row, that is m minus one. Then in left is pointing to 0th column and in the right is pointing to the last column that is n minus 1. Next y top less than or equal to bottom and left less than or equal to right. What do you need to do? So at first we will move to the left to right. Left to right and top is constant. So for int left equal to sorry int i equal to left i lesser equal to right i minus minus so result dot add of what we need to add So that will be matrix of top, then i, top is constant, column is really. So after this we increment top, so top will be incremented, top plus plus. So next we move to the last column, this one. So top to bottom it runs for i equal to top, i less than or equal to bottom, and i minus minus, or I mean plus plus only. Because you move from top to bottom, that is fine. So in this case, column will be constant. So result dot add of matrix of i, then column is nothing but right here. So after this, you decrement the right, right minus minus. For the next loop, you have to check if top less than equal to right. Why? Because as I said, if there is only one row, then you, this is checking a snippet. Similarly, if there is only one column, then again this checking is required because left pointing here, right pointing here. So left to right you traverse and top will point here. Bottom will be here. So left to right will traverse. So one will be added. Next top will be incremented. Next again, top to bottom will traverse. So 2 comma 3 will also be added. So after that, you decrement the right. So right will move here. And left will be pointing here. So left will be pointing to the matrix, but right will be moved beyond the matrix. So here again, you have to check if top is less than or equal to bottom. Is it equal? Yes, it is. But inside the loop, what happens? Right to left, you have to traverse. Right to left you have to traverse and that's actually we are decrementing but here it should be incrementing so that won't happen because right is beyond the list. But when it comes to here, if you don't check bottom to right, if you, if you 
network travels, it will happen. So that's why we need to check here whether left is richer than right that is required. So if at first we check, we check for the top lesser than or equal to bottom. So if so, then only we start the loop in i equal to. So again same thing, right i greater than equal to left and i minus minus. So result dot add of matrix of. So this time the columns are varying and rows are constant. So I have written like this. So next after this we determine the bottom. So bottom minus minus. Next again we check if left is less or equal to right. If so then in i equal to where we need to start from bottom to top we are doing. So i equal to bottom, i greater than equal to top, then i minus minus. So result dot add of what we need to add here. Oh, uh, the rows are very and column is constant. So this will be left. So yeah, after this left will be incremented. That's it. Okay, so at last, what we need to return? The list. So we return result. We will run this. Okay. Um, yeah. As you move from left to right, there should be plus plus. Now I hope I hope it works. Yeah. And for C plus plus, it's pretty much the same code. I'll just copy this. Only few syntax changes we need to. So here it will be vector int result. of type integer or limit as result and next um, instead of length we should be size here as well size then yeah here push back yeah push back size and it's vector in result so we should run this Yeah, it's been accepted. We'll submit one of the codes. Okay, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come with other video next session. Till then, keep learning. Thank you.